divisibility by 12, we again have two conditions. First, the sum of the digits is divisible by 3. And second, the last two digits are divisible by 4. Which means, at the same time, the number should be even. Or, it should be divisible by both 3 and 4. Let's have a little side note here of the multiples of 4 and then we highlight our magic numbers. Next, the multiples of 3. Our first example is 7,823. Now we check if the number is odd or even. It is odd, which means that it is not divisible by 12. Another example, we have 1,248. The number is an even number, so we can proceed with our test 1 if it is divisible by 3. We add all the digits, the answer is 15. We know that 15 is divisible by 3, which means that it passed our first test. For our second test, it should be divisible by 4. We check the last two digits, 48. And 48 is divisible by 4. How do I say so? Check the magic numbers on the right side. We have 40. We subtract it from 48. The answer is 8. And 8 is divisible by 4. Which means that 1,248 is divisible by 12. Another example, we have 9,652. First, we check the number is even. Yes, it is. Let's have our first test. Is the number divisible by 3? We add the digits. The answer is 22. 22 is not divisible by 3, which means it is a no for our first test. Now, we do not need to proceed with our second test because if the number failed on the first test, it's no longer necessary because which means 9,652 is not divisible by 12.